Oh. <laughs> hey good people i am back today is christmas eve merry christmas obviously it's december 24th and it's christmas eve um so yeah it's day th i guess this is day three yeah this is day three girl i lose track that quick um it just started but yeah today is day three of the 30 to 30 challenge and today i'm actually going to be doing two challenges so um i have some orders um that i have with me um some to deliver um but i do have one i need to take to the post office and i have three different post offices that i frequent to ship out my orders but the one i probably go to the most is the one here in Waldorf, the one in the mall. So at that particular post office, every time I go, it is one person in there working. It's always the same dude. And you know, due to COVID, well, the post office are crazy, ridiculous this time of year anyway. Double that with COVID and it's been wild. I know you've probably seen like the pictures online of the postal facilities and all these boxes. I decided I'm gonna do my random act of kindness activity and I'm gonna take a Christmas card. I have to go to the post, the post office anyway, so I figured I might as well take a Christmas card, a gift card in there to my man's that works at this one who's the only ever in there running the whole show by himself. So that's where I'm on my way to now is to drop off this order and to also give um my neighborhood postal worker a little something something so yeah that's gonna be my my act of kindness for today and then also a little later on because like i said i'm actually doing two activities today in a, a couple of hours we're gonna go to bad axe throwing in dc we're gonna go there and do some axe throwing so excited for that so stay tuned as i take you on that adventure but yeah, happy holidays to you and your loved ones. All right, so I just had to come check back in with y'all real quick just to show y'all how blick, blick, blickety black I am in true black people form. I'm sitting here now that I'm pulled up to the place filling out the car. Um, why do we do that, y'all? Why do we as black people, why can't we have the car filled out ahead of time? Why we always got to fill out the greeting cards? Right before we walk into the place where, where the person is, where we're gonna give it to you. We're here. We're here at Bad Axe Throwy. About to get the chopping. Asked us if he wanted to be over here by himself, so he said, Sure. I'm here with my roommate. She's been asked on before, but I've never been. So it'll be interesting. Let's see what Christian got. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she says this is the real one. The other one was a warm up. Oh, how many points is that? Okay, okay. Okay. So they gave us something to keep score with. So Christian got two points. Three. Three. She lying. No, I'm not lying. <laughs> All right, she got three points. My turn now. All right, so it's Shannon's turn now. First time axe throwing. A shining example of exactly the form that you're supposed to use while you're doing this. Yes. Ooh. I yeah. Better. You're not too tall. Mike did this. He's six foot. Christian got a bullseye. 
earlier, but she did it too soon. She did it when it didn't get on camera. She gonna try to get bullseye again. That's how she got nine points. I'm still at zero. Oh, it was the board's fault. Okay, sure. She she lost her touch. She lost her touch that quick. I know. All right. Well, it wasn't on camera. It didn't happen. Hey, what we playing over here? Hey, hey. So our host Rico, he said we can change the music. What should I play? Let me get a little Christmas Eve. Let me get a little Temptation. I ain't heard my Temptation Silent Night all season. Let me get that. We about to party up in this joint. I'll turn this joint up. something but yeah put more force behind it Ooh, oh! <laughs> all right go stand next to your prize <laughs> that is one two three points Good at this. A little too good, if you ask me. Alright, so she wanted help with her one hand throw, even though she's already good as I don't know what. With her hand. So, this is our host, uh, Rico, showing her how to do it with one hand. Uh, he's trying to show her how. All right, y'all. So I'm back at the house now, back from axe throwing. And I really had a lot of fun. Um, I definitely would do it again, even though I sucked. I think I hit the board maybe like three or four times out of the hour and 15 minutes that we were there. But it was fun. It was it was a workout. I got a feeling like my arms might be sore tomorrow. Kind of like when you go bowling, you ain't been in a long time. But um, I would definitely go back. I would definitely recommend the place we went, Bad Axe Throwing in D.C. Um, they have one out in Fairfax, VA, too. But, yeah, dude, that was our host, Rico. He was real cool. And um, they also had the Bluetooth plug up, like y'all saw, um, where you can play your own music from their um, iPad. So that was cool, too. That was a little added plus there. But, yeah, had a great time. So we'll see what I get in tomorrow for Christmas. Hey, good people. I am back for day four of my challenge. Today is Christmas Day. Jingle bell, 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 j
That's right, today is Christmas Day, so I thought what better day to do one of my challenge activities, which is to bake cookies from scratch. So anybody that knows me, or a lot of people that know me know, I like to cook, I like to try out new things. I'm, I'm the chef up on the stove top, but the actual oven, baking, not so much. Baking is not in my ministry, so I hardly bake anything, and not just desserts. I hardly bake chicken, bake salmon, like most of the stuff I cook is on top of the stove in an air fryer and so on. So um, I made that one of my challenges to bake cookies from scratch. I don't know if I was the only one. I thought milk went into homemade cookies. Like I found a recipe for chocolate chip cookies on Pinterest and I looked at it like three times. I was like, there's no milk in this recipe. Did y'all know that, at least this recipe, did y'all know that you don't put milk, you don't need milk to bake cookies? I, I didn't know that. So um, let's get into this and see how my cookies turn out. Okay, so I have my ingredients here and my tools that I'm gonna need to make these cookies. Um, so I've had my butter and eggs resting out so they can be at room temperature. Oh, let me, um, let me go preheat the oven. Okay, so I've got my oven preheating. I think the reason that I don't really bake like that is because I don't like reading recipes. I don't like following instructions. When I need to put something together, I try my hardest not to read the instructions. For whatever reason, I don't like instructions. So that's probably the reason that I don't really bake like that because usually with cooking, if I'm mixing up new, I'll just look at the recipe just to see what ingredients I need and then I'll put my own flair, put my own technique on it. You can't do that with baking. Because baking is a science. You gotta have the right measurement. You gotta have, sometimes even your altitude matters. Um, like if you're baking a cake, it, sometimes it matters if you're in a high rise versus a, a ground level or a two level house. So I think that's why I don't really bake like that is because I don't like taking the time to read instructions. But we're gonna read them today. So uh, let's start getting our mixes together. So you just saw me put together my wet mix and my dry mix. You saw me fumbling a little bit with the salt. The recipe called for finely grained sea salt. And I was at the store, I was like, oh yeah, I got sea salt at home. Check it out the cabin, I was like, oh, this is Himalayan pink salt. So that's from a mountain. The Himalayas is mountains, right? Not the sea. So hopefully that doesn't throw the recipe off too much. Um, but yeah, let's continue. I'm about to, I think next up is combine these two together and um, add the milk, milk, <laughs> add the eggs and the vanilla. So uh, my wet mix is already starting to look like cookie dough. So I'm excited, I'm pleased with myself. <laughs> so let's get into the rest of this recipe. All right, y'all, so yes, next, let's see. Next, it says that we need to add the vanilla and eggs to this mix. So, got my eggs right here. One. And two. All right, and next is the vanilla. So this recipe calls for two teaspoons of vanilla. So let me grab my half teaspoon. This is my vanilla. All right, so one half, two, three, and 
four, okay? So we got that in. So we're gonna gradually beat in our flour mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this with just the eggs and vanilla added. So I'm gonna, I don't even know what the phrase is. I'm gonna rake these mixes real quick just to make sure that I'm optimizing my amount of dough and I don't want any to go to waste. So I'm gonna rake these free of all their dough. And then the last part is to add in the chocolate chips. All right, so I've finished cleaning my um, beers of the dough. So now I'm gonna add in my chocolate chips. If nothing else, this definitely smells like cookie dough. I don't know if it's gonna turn out right yet, but it definitely smells like cookie dough. So the recipe says to stir these in, because I feel like beater, I guess I would beat them up too much. So I'm just gonna kinda disperse them and I'm just gonna fold them. I'm just gonna fold them with a little here just kind of working through the dough the recipe calls for two cups I'm not sure how many cups are in this package it says 12 ounces is that a cup y'all I mean is that two cups 12 ounces that's that's a cup and a half actually I think that's all right I don't do a whole bunch of chocolate anyway so if it's not a full two cups that is all right with me. It should be look like a lot though. I might save some of these to put in my um, high cocoa. I feel like this is too many chocolate chips. But either way, I will just fold these in the dough until it looks about even. All right, y'all, so I have my baking sheet prepared with my parchment paper. So I am going to start scooping out my cookies. The recipe calls to scoop them out in about three tablespoons at a time. So y'all know me, I'm up, I'm finna out of all this. So um, let me scoop these on the pan and then we can get the baking. So I've got my cookies here and I actually wound up using one of my um, ice cream scoops, which to me, it looked like the perfect size. So that's actually what I wound up using to scoop them out. So here they are. It's 15 of them and the sheet is full. I didn't use all of the dough. I think I'm gonna freeze the rest because this is already enough cookies. Plus, like I said, the, the pan is full. So I'm gonna freeze the rest for another time. But yeah, let me go ahead and slide these in the oven. The recipe calls to keep them in for about 12 to 15 minutes. All right, so the timer just went off for the cookies at 12 minutes. Um, looking at them. Don't y'all judge my uh, stove and these cleaning. But they look like they need a little bit more time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on three more minutes and do the, the higher end of the range that they gave. All right, y'all, so the cookies are out. Um, so after 15 minutes, they still didn't look quite done. And they're, they were rose up like biscuits. I, I must have did something wrong at some point, I don't know. But I put them on broil for maybe about, um, two minutes so this is a final product so now they have more of that golden brown look that comes with your chocolate chip cookies so I'm gonna let them cool and maybe a little bit later on I'm about to eat something now so maybe a little bit later on I will sample them 
All right, it's time for the taste test. Overall, I'm pleased with the color of the cookie. It's very nice, nice and golden. The only thing, like, it's really thick. <laughs> Almost like a biscuit. It's pretty thick, so maybe next time I make it, I'll um, flatten it, maybe. I don't know. Y'all give me some advice if you have any. Okay, let's get into the taste. These are pretty good. Okay. I'm pleased. They taste pretty good. I'm pleased with how these came out. I give them a eight and a half out of ten. Like I said, it's just the, the thickness, so they're a little bit big. So I'll make them a little smaller next time. But yeah, overall, this is pretty good. Thanks for tuning in again to another challenge. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time.